Hello everyone and welcome to Gear Off Farms. In today's video, we're gonna be taking care of morning chores here. We just wrapped up with milking and everything went really well. As for milking, the herd average is doing really well. We actually came down uh, two, 300 pounds on the total, but that's because we're starting to dry up cows, getting closer to spring here, and because we had a lot of cows come in here over the past month or so. So we were switching a lot of cows. So we're trying to ease off of that to make room for more to, to come into the barn. So we're kind of in that gray area right now. And as for the weather, it is a windy spring day. We're getting a lot of a cool nights and mornings, and then we're getting 60 degree afternoons it's been a really nice march so far coming in like a, a lamb or a sheep and uh, probably will go out like a lion we'll be on the eye out for that but we're gonna get these cows out of here so they can uh, go on their afternoon uh, recess and then we're gonna get the barn cleaned up and we got some feed to move today we got silage and hay to move so it'll be a nice busy day of daily morning chores Now that we have all the cows out of the barn, it's time to get all the manure scraped up in here and get the gutters put on the manure spreader along with bedding up and uh, pushing up the feed and, and laying out some new hay. So uh, let's get the barn taken care of for those cows to come back in this afternoon. Okay, I finished up in the barn and while I've been doing that, dad has started on the silage. He has already brought the first load of silage up here and is dumping it in front of the heifers over there, getting that all spread out. I'm gonna pull this tractor out of here quick so it's out of the way for the dairy cows if they wanna get to the water. And then I'll move over to uh, helping him spread that silage out so he can get down there and work on filling up load number two. And that wind is kicking up a lot of that loose silage. I got silage all over in my hood, down my neck. Man. Like I 
like I was saying earlier, we're gonna need to move some hay today, and this is the wagon we're gonna need to fill up. So these guys have some hay once the silage is spread out nice for them and they fill up on that. Gotta keep their uh, their ration going. Now I'm moving over to the, the young stock barn, the calf barn, and we're gonna throw some silage out there. Okay, we got all the silage spread out in here and uh mason he's getting his car ready because he's going on a trip here too like the rest of us did that's my turn now yeah that's uh, something i just thought about popped in my head that with uh any family business like this no one we can't really have like a big family vacation we all uh we all kind of gotta take our turn and now it's mason's turn so but he's road tripping down there so he's gonna get the car ready and looking forward to it yeah i like the jet will make it turn back should be really efficient that's really exciting for him but anyways it's uh kind of windy here but i did uh just get a drone for the channel so i'm gonna try that out here and see if we can get a couple shots of uh dad loading feed down there the second load of feed hopefully it doesn't get pushed around and hopefully the picture quality is nice enough for you guys so let's give it a try I'm really impressed so far. I'm sure the audio is picking it up for you guys, but it's super windy out here. I'd watch out for the swallows too. They're kind of swooping. In. It looks like it's stabilizing really well, it, but it keeps throwing codes, letting me know that it's windy and it's getting pushed around. But as for the camera, it's I think it's stabilizing really well. I don't I don't see it bouncing around. I'm really excited that I I have this upgrade for the channel. Hopefully we get some really good footage, especially when we're making hay and planting corn and combining or picking corn. I'm really excited for that. So I'm gonna put you guys away and, and focus on trying to get some cool clips of dad loading silage down there. say so far i'm very impressed with what that drone can do it is extremely windy today it was throwing codes the whole time hopefully the footage turned out okay i could kind of see the camera bouncing and the drone bouncing in the wind i'm thoroughly impressed so far and how that thing handles uh 
flying around out in high winds like this, especially being so small like that. DJI has done a, a great job at making their drones. I am very impressed with how that thing handled, but we're not gonna chance it anymore. Dad's bringing the dump trailer back up with the 686. We'll get him lined up here and unhooked and move on to the next project. I got this all sweeped up so the silage is out of the way when we bring the, the wagon back. Looks like all the cattle are happy eating away at this new laid out silage. And as for the dairy cows, if the footage turned out with the drone, it was cool to see some of them went up into the pasture. The grass isn't growing yet, but uh, dad has the gates open because we're working back and forth up there. And because it's so dry, we're not really worried about them damaging the, the soil out there, or beating it up or beating up the new growth. It's so so dry and the ground's firm that, that them walking around out there might actually kind of help aerate the soil. And then if they're hanging out up in there, then their manure's getting up in there and it's a win-win as of right now. But if it were to get wet, then we'd uh, be closing the gates and we wouldn't want them beating that pasture up. And while we're talking about the cattle and how everyone's doing, uh, walking by the super out here, you'll see we have it cleaned out. We have a couple young calves down in the calf barn. Uh, we got room down there right now, up above by the maternity pen, and we're keeping this open yet. And I think with this, this hot and cold winter we've been having, there's been scour problems with the last set of calves we had. So we're really scared to, to use this. So we're really gonna let it dry out while we have a little bit of a gap here in between calves. It's one of the crappy parts about, about farming, but animals are gonna get sick. Same with people. People are gonna get hurt and sick and not everybody's gonna be healthy and happy, but part of it. And uh, we do our best to, uh, to battle mother nature, combat that the best we can. So that's an update on the young stock. Everything now is in good shape. But I better get up to the hay barn and help uh, load that wagon up. And there you go, the hay is over here, removed to the bull barn, heifer barn, dry cow barn, ready to go for the, the next couple weeks here, mix in with their silage and uh, complete that ration. I'm gonna end off the video here. Thank you all for sticking to the end. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, comment if you haven't already. That really helps us out a lot. Make sure to go check out gearrockfarms.com if you haven't already, especially with summer right around the corner. Go get yourself one of our nice, stylish hats for that hot summer sun anyways thank you all for the support and we will see you in the next video